After I record a whole chapter, I always go through it and listen to the whole thing with the group and have them critique it and make sure everything's correct. John chapter 3, verse 1, blah, 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 5, blah, 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 blah. Let's say that they didn't like this for some reason, this 5 section. So I go there, control B, and I go to the end, control B, and I'm going to replace that area. It just kind of gives me a visual marker of where I'm going to do it. Now, if I hit the record button, it will append it to the end. I don't want it to do that. And if I record while it's not muted, it will be very distracting. So remember, shift R will record on a new track. So if I do this, I want to show you how it's distracting. Shift R. Five. Oh. So it, don't want that. We don't want to hear that. That was in the background. So we want to mute this. So it's not going to be distracting. Go back to here. Shift R. Go. Five. Blah, 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 blah. I wanted to make it longer for example reason. So I'm going to play it back. Go. Five. Okay, so I'm going to delete that off. And now we're going to listen through it, and if we listen through it, and everybody says, yes, that is nice, we like how that is, I can double-click on that, I can cut it, and now I'm going to go into where I had it, highlight this because it's like in a word processor, it's going to replace this, and it'll actually be longer and shove everything else to the right. So when I hit Control v to paste, everything moves over, and it's in the correct location. You can turn off the mute, you can get rid of your labels, get rid of this, and then when they listen back, five. Blah 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 ten. Blah 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 blah. So that's how I do retakes.